So today, we're going to export our 3D Studio Max V-Ray model to FBX. Now, you might be wondering why we would do that. Let's demonstrate quickly. Here's our V-Ray render in 3D Studio Max. Now, switch to Blender. This is our render preview in Blender. And in Cinema, this is our final V-Ray render in Cinema 4D. So, how do we do this? Let's find out. So, let's head over to the GitHub page, which will be in the YouTube description, and select the 3D Studio Max scripts. In this list, you'll find the V-Ray roughness to FBX MS file. Let's just go ahead and download that. Once that's done, we can head back to 3D Studio Max, open our downloads, and drag the script into the viewport. Head to our toolbar, customize, head to our category for our toolbars, and head down to Bella. In here, you'll spot the automate V-Ray to FBX, and we're going to drag this to our toolbar. So from here, we're ready to roll. But before we do that, let's just take a quick look at the material. And if we just I drop this, we're going to see it's a V-Ray material with your standard base color, normal texture, roughness, and if you want, metallic, opacity, etc. You'll also notice that we have an open subdiv on our geometry, which we don't need for the FBX, and the script will remove it, otherwise collapse it down beforehand. So let's run the script. Alrighty, subdivisions are gone. And our materials are now converted from V-Ray to standard. It'll put the diffuse color in, the roughness, the bump. If you're using metal, otherwise it'll set it to zero so that Blender picks it up correctly or other renderers know that it's not a metallic material. And let's export to FBX. We can just reset the preset to default. But just embed the media so the textures come along with the FBX file. So let's jump over to Blender. So delete all the default nodes and import our FBX. Once we import our FBX, we're just going to switch shaded on so we can see our textures better in the viewport. Now let's just do a quick little basic lighting setup for our scene so that we can match what V-Ray is doing with the basic dome light. You'll see here in our world settings, we just switch this color to white. Then change our render engine to cycles, set up the color management to just standard, and this should match max pretty closely. Cool, looking good. So now let's just head over to 3D Studio Max and do the same thing. So you can do a comparison. So first of all, let's just bring our V-Ray scene back, because this was our FBX converted scene. Next thing we want to do is just put a V-Ray dome light down. Then, once we have our dome light in the scene, we are pretty much ready to render. As you can see, it's pretty much looking just like our Blender render. So, let's head back to Blender and have a look at the material setup from our FBX import. You'll notice on import that it inputs all our textures into a principled BSDF. We have our normal base color and roughness in the right spot. If we add metal or opacity, they'd also come along and import into the right spot with their correct linear or sRGB settings. So now let's do the same thing with Cinema. We're going to merge in our FBX file. Default settings are fine. Now we're going to run our FBX materials to V-Ray script, which is linked in the description. And press Run. Now we can follow the same process as in Max. We're just going to put a V-Ray dome light down and render. And you'll notice, we're done. If you're curious, 
have a look at the materials. You'll see it works pretty much the same way. It just grabs a diffuse, puts it in there from the FBX material, same with the reflection, metal, opacity, and etc. It'll also set the color profile for each one, embedded being sRGB, and for the other ones, they'll come in as linear. The normal map also gets placed in a VRA normal node. All right, and now for a bonus script. Head to the Cinema 4D scripts on the GitHub or in the description, and you'll notice this one that says FBX to Corona. So let's reset the file, merge the FBX back in. Okay, so it should look like it did before, just as your standard FBX file. Now let's run the Corona script. Once we run our script, we can just set up our scene the same way we did with V-Ray. So we're going to add a Corona sky. We're going to set the color to simple and make it white. So ready to render. And bing, bada boom, bada bang, we have our Corona render matching our V-Ray render. I hope you find it useful. Enjoy.